In this episode, we're gonna learn how to mind control a creepy crawly. And the most common creepy crawly on the planet? Ants. They are amazing. There are over 10,000 trillion ants on Earth. That is about a million ants per every human. And what if you could control all those ants like an ant army? Well, there is a way to control their brains and turn them all into zombies. And it's all to do with fungus. But just remember, of all of those ant species around the world, some of them can be a little bit dangerous. They might give you a nibble, they might spray you with some chemicals. So just be careful. So all of us, humans, ants, all animals, all plants, we all have a life cycle. We're born, we may reproduce, and then we die. Some of us have more exciting lives than others. Some life cycles are really, really fast. <laughs> and some of them are really slow. For example, mayflies live for just 24 hours, whereas oak trees can live for up to a thousand years. And different organisms have different ways of reproducing. Typically, animals, like humans, need a male and a female. But some creatures, like bees, wasps and ants, are a bit different. Ants have a queen which lays the eggs. If those eggs get fertilised by a male, then they hatch into female workers or a new queen. But if the eggs don't get fertilised, then they hatch into male workers. Isn't that weird? And for plants, they have seeds which spread across the ground. And if those seeds find the right conditions, like humidity and light, then those seeds will germinate and grow. Here's a simple way to show a plant life cycle in action. For this, we are going to need some butter beans. Thank you, Beanstalk Hand. You will need a freezer bag, some water in a spray gun, some kitchen roll, and of course, light. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your piece of kitchen roll and you're gonna spray it with water for ages until it's nice and soggy. Mm -mm. Delicious. Then what you're gonna do, you're gonna fold your kitchen roll in half and you're gonna put it in your bag. What we're doing here is we're making a bed for our butter beans. So it's an empty bed right now, Let's add some beans. And you just gotta wait. And by day seven, look at this. It's got a little leaf growing. Oh, my baby beans, they grow up so fast. To help this experiment work really well, soak your beans overnight. But some life cycles are far more out there than others. There are some organisms that will stop at nothing to find the ideal conditions to reproduce. Take the Cordyceps fungus. This is a fungus that lives in tropical rainforests and it needs to be exactly 25 centimetres off the forest floor for it to have the perfect conditions for it to release its spores. And to get there, it takes over the mind of an ant. So what we can see here now is that ants are kind of kings and queens of the jungle, right? There's so many of them. When the spores land on the ant, the fungus starts growing inside of it, taking over the ant's body and draining it of its nutrients. So these ants are acting really weirdly because they've had some spores land on them. So this ant has no control over its body anymore. It's being controlled by the fungus. The fungus then moves to the brain and forces the now zombie ant to climb exactly 25 centimetres off the forest floor, where the conditions are just right for growth. Look at that. There's like a frozen weird husk of an ant attached to a stem of a plant and out of that ant's head is growing this weird finger-like thing. And what that thing is, is it is a fungus. Look at that. 
Oh my days, it's so long compared to the little ant. Poor ant man, didn't want that to happen that day, but there we go, not a good day for the ant. This giant mushroom then bursts, spreading new spores out on all the little ants below, and the life cycle starts again. And look at that, there's a load of ants, all with these different funguses coming out of them. And there's actually loads of these different types of fungi, and they all infect a different insect. It's absolutely wild, look at that. It's kind of creepy, but it's kind of beautiful at the same time. I don't know, I'm quite impressed. And that is how you mind control a creepy crawly.